interesting stuff you brought. A wide range from Grand Prix cars to drag cars, some circle track, and a cool story about this street ride that he's got here. Everything. Here with Marcos Fernandez. We're just wrapping up at the RTS show. He just won first place in street rides and competition class competition track yeah. among some other awards the street ride i built this one as a as a tribute for one uh, club member who passes away he painted the car um it's in my room and didn't find it anywhere the, the same color i did try to find it because i painted this, this part <laughs> It's very close. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I just completed what he's visioned, but the engine, when I found it, it's too small for, for the car. And I swapped it for a NASCAR car engine. Yeah. And I just put the six tags on it. And, and it's a Ford. It's yeah. a Ford. Yes. All right. Ford Ford. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it came out really nice. Um, the, 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 the only problem was the, the firewall was damaged, and I decided to uh, put some decals in like some like plates from everywhere and um, do some cool stuff to it. I mean, I really like, like this, this project. It came out so really nice. Those license plates for like all the extras you have, like when you've used all the decals on the kit, the license plates yep. are left all the, over. All those left and you over. just incorporated them into the final. Yes, yeah. it's yeah. great texture. It was wow. it was a good idea. It was, <laughs> really <laughs> came out really nice. I like it a lot. Oh man, yeah. And I I, I did have a lot a tons of information to, for that car, uh, searching and trying to find stuff. Then I have this Don's garlic car. The the thing on this one, the body was clear. So it came like that. So I, I painted it and uh, tried to remove the the, the lid. Mm. So I need to paint it too. And um, I did a lot of stuff to it. Tried to detail as much as I could. Um, the exhaust I made, I scratch build him with um, yeah. aluminum tubing. That looks much better than those kit parts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible nice. how they look. Yeah, and, uh, but when that kit came out, everyone was like, "Oh, this is okay." You know, this is like you know, yeah. When I when I saw it, yeah. yeah exactly. Now it's like no, no. We well, have to do our exhaust just right. Well, yeah. But for example, for you guys, that uh, you guys have many years building cars, is you guys have the, that information in your brain already. Yeah. But for me, I only have five years um, working cars. I mean, for the with the water. Wow. And uh, progressive goals and yeah. just find out stuff and people from the club they help me with the stuff that I needed yeah. to learn. And it's been working so far. How did you get started? When I was younger, I would used to collect die cast. So that was easy for me because oh, they, they look pretty. I can put it on the shelf. That's it. My wife and I, as soon as we moved here to to the states, she saw one kit. Uh, charger. Mm -hmm. and she said, "Oh, you like this car?" <laughs> I said, "Well, I never painted one car, so I started to search how to do, how to do it, and I found out that I, there was this entire world that I didn't know about. <laughs> and um, I painted it, tried to detail it. Was the horrible job I ever done. Well, first time around, right? <laughs> yes. But after that, I got hooked up, and uh, I really enjoy it. And after that, I can tell. <laughs> well, yeah." I got this one after many years of making this project and um, I spent four, almost four years building it because I was putting it back in the box, learn something, put it back to the box and like that. And um, recently I just pulled off uh, the, the seat belt and I made a video on it. Actually got this morning got uh, uploaded. <laughs> You've had a busy day. Oh yeah. Upload a video. Right. Get yeah. a couple first place awards. <laughs> well actually this one got first place. And this one got third. Ah. So it was I wasn't expecting that one at all. It's amazing. It came out really nice. This one, 
It's a Hasegawa kit. Came out really nice. Love it. Is that like just out of the box? It's basic, almost out of the box. The only thing that I did it was um, buy it aftermarket stacks. Yeah. They are for 143, 143 third scale. <laughs> so they are perfect for that scale. And now oh, yeah. I scratch build all the all the linkages and, uh, and the fuel lines. They are coming from from the from the fuel, from the gas tank all the way back. Yeah. Good and detail, right up on top where we can all see it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But I also got this one. This one of my favorite kits. I love it. Yeah. yeah. So this one I have to scratch build of the hinges so it can work properly because I know they're really bad. Um, open the trunk, add a battery on, um, detail as much as I can. The NASCAR car. Oh, that was a flaming orange. Um, actually, one of the club members gave me all the tips to do that paint job. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was um, it was a long trip for me because I have to go back there. Okay, we got we're gonna send it today. Okay, we can send it. Then we're gonna paint it. Oh. Okay, it's the time for the paint to dry in between. Yeah, no, it was it was, it took me like all the entire month just to do that. <laughs> Yeah, but... This is my most pride um, yeah. build right now, which I love a lot. Um, this project is supposed to be started by Dale Pion. He was the one who taught me that some stuff that I know uh, before he passed away. So he got the, the project by himself. He passed away. Uh, one of the club members got the, the project, yeah. and he told me about it. And I said, "Okay, that's a good project that I can do." It's a resin body. We don't know where he, where he got it. The only thing that we know is from Canada. The donor is actually a 58 Christine from us. Mm -hmm. um, so the only thing that I changed was the blower. Put a resin blower there in the hat. I scratch build the field lines, uh, the butterfly and all that. Scratch build uh, the willy bars. Um, yeah. I did a lot. A lot of good scratch building. Well, one of the best parts is I can take everything out. Yeah. Just like the real deal. Even the body out. <laughs> Oh, so you can yeah. see everything there. I mean, one of my proud built right now. I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. And I have all the knowledge that I have so far. Yeah. Yeah. I can also see a lot of the vibe of Del Pino in there. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. Wow. I mean, all the stuff that I chose. I mean, on this one, yeah. this one, this one, and that one. Basically, all the stuff that I taught me the yeah. how to work with the glue and how to work with the aluminum sheets, yep. how to scratch build something yeah. that, that I didn't know how to do stuff. Sure. How to do that research of like where the plumbing goes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was that was totally crazy. Yeah. And wow. so that, that's all I have. I mean I, and I really do like this. Oh, and you can imagine how small is my working bench. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's like this size. <laughs> That's probably good. Keep it simple. Yeah. And build awesome. <laughs> That's true. I mean, really, they are. they're great. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, what a day.